Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for factory reset protection. Here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy A02s, and this is a device that does indeed have the Google Lock enabled, because as we can see here during the setup steps, we come to the screen that tells us that the phone was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on that Use My Google Account Instead button, it'll bring up the secondary option that tells us that the other thing that we can do is to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device in order to be able to get through the rest of the initial setup steps. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked and then who disappeared after the purchase was complete. Since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login info. The procedure is something that we do directly to the phone while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we did here with this one. So as you guys could very clearly see, the device was on the Google lock screen, and then I just restarted it because we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock before starting the video, just so that we could keep it as short as possible. So the last step was just to do that restart, and now that that's done, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google lock page. So we're going to hit the blue arrow here to continue and go through. We first need to read and agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. Then it'll ask us about using Wi-Fi, which we actually don't even need now. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off and hit skip. We don't need to copy any apps and data, so we're not going to do that option. Tells us all about the Google services, so we're just going to hit accept there. We don't need to use a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step. We don't need any other apps, so we're going to uncheck those and hit next. We don't need a Samsung account either, so we won't be doing that. All right, there we go, we should be all set. So if we tap finish down there, we should then be able to see that we've got the home screen loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna pop into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go down to the About Phone section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy A02S, and then that model number there, the SMA025U, that's the model number of all of the US versions of the Galaxy A02S, no matter which carrier it originally comes from. So if you have one of these AO2Ss that has the Google Lock enabled and need help getting that removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our info there as well. 
While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the news videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.